I'm in the um, parking lot of Art Street Meeting House. And I'm going to be walking towards the mural, which is being finished today. Um, this is the parking lot. It's uh, October 23rd. The leaves are absolutely gorgeous. And it is starting to run. So that's Art Street Meeting House behind us. And this is the mural. And there's Neela, Neelu, which apparently is the Hindu word for blue. My brother told me that because he knows a lot of Hindi. And here we have it. Okay. So there's all kinds of kids who are working on the Oh, it's gorgeous. They're working on it. It's a storage container. This, all this property here used to belong to Arch Street. Maybe it was part of the burial ground, I don't know. Well, here we are. They're all painting the back of the storage container. Very serious kids. Oh, it's lovely. Okay. And the storage container is being used as a, as a shed. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, it's great. Okay, I'm videoing you. the last time I No, I came to work on So here we are, this is the goes down here, all the way around. Okay, here we have it. Oh, oh look, there's some, uh, some forms there. Ah, there's a system. Blue, red, orange. Let's see what happens here. This is very nice. So this is the Frankfurt Friends was involved. The basis. This is the, the basis. It's the same idea as the peaceable kingdom. See the it's called a the tiger, the cardinal. Oh, it's gorgeous. Lulu's done a fabulous job on it. That's the whole thing. The sun, the tears coming down from, from the sun. It's lovely. So that's it. This is lovely. Yeah, we, we saw it on uh, Friday. It was just when well, Nella was uh, working on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it holds up really well. How many uh, uh, main artists are there? Is it just well, Nila made the design. Okay. Um, she worked with Kier, so Kier and I, we're partners in Amber Art and Design. So we're the company that worked with Art Street Meeting House to conceptualize and think about what would be here. And we, we worked with Nila in the past and we thought this would be a great opportunity for her to design a mural. It's her first ever mural that she designed <laughs> and painted in Philly. So. Well, I, I tell you, because it's, it's clearly based on the same idea as the Peaceable Kingdom. Yeah, I think it's inspired by um, that and some Quaker principles and history. And there was a lot of research and also working with students from Frankfurt Friends. My brother, my brother speaks um, Hindu. Oh, really? Hindi. <laughs> and he tells me that her name means blue. Yes. You can get it. <laughs> okay. Yes, you knew that. Yeah. 
But so what do you think? Thank you. Okay. Oh, there's some extra um, characters here since yesterday. What do what what else? Well, you know? Those those um, those drawings. They've yeah, been filled out. Haven't been filled. Yeah, they weren't there. Yeah, there's some people that uh, they're meant to be ancestors. Ah. So they're historical figures. Mm -hmm. They're based on historical figures, and so that's why they're not all the way filled in. Ah. And then the figures that are in the forefront, these are more like everyday people, not anybody in particular, but mm -hmm. just anybody, you know. <laughs> so what is the what what is the twenty four? Um, I'm not sure. A lot of people have some thoughts on that. I think Nila was just, she adds details to things. I don't think, I don't know if 24 means something particular to her. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, this was a shirt she was talking about the other day because people think it's Kobe Bryant. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> this was a, a shirt, an actual physical shirt that she used to own that used to belong to her father. I see, oh and lovely. And he just happened to have a shirt that said 24. She thinks it was like a soccer shirt or something. So it's a depiction of a shirt that used to belong to her father. So what is your role in, in this? We run the company that facilitated right. this. Right. That's, uh, but so what's your name? Kier. And your, your name is? Linda. Linda and Kier. OK. You so run we the... run Amber Art and Design. And that's kind of the, the group that was contracted for this project and we hired Neela to be the artist just because our hands were full. Now are you involved in other things around Philadelphia in the yeah, mural all arts? The place. Oh I love it. It's We've great. We've been mural arts on and off for 20 yeah. years. I, I mean I tell you what I've been here in Philadelphia 44 years and I can tell you the difference. Mural arts is absolutely fabulous. No they're amazing yeah. and you know what Sometimes you don't know it until you, you, you leave your backyard, but cities all over the country are trying to replicate what we have going on here. Well, because yeah. of the impact and just how yeah. it just, you know, it just creates such a, a difference maker. You know, like this was just a, a bleak, minimal shipping container prior. Right. And it was just sitting here, it had its function, but it definitely was no point of attraction. And now it has well, an entire new yeah. life. Well, art, art uplifts, that's the point. Ideally, you know? yes. And you, and, and you see something on a wall that someone has painted. Um, my immediate reaction is, yes, someone has hired an artist. That's great. Yes. <laughs> we, yep. need, we need to hire more artists. Yeah, we would leave yeah. the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I mean, this worked out. It turned out amazingly. It's nice when you have these, these projects where everything kind of Comes to meets you. where it's supposed to in the middle. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this was done with Frankfurt Friends up in Frankfurt, uh, the eighth, their eighth grade class. And it was really unique because the previous eighth grade came up with the initial designs and the composition, and then the next eighth grade was able to initiate the painting of it and, and came down here and was here this last week and was helping paint around the, the exterior. So, yeah, it was, it was unique in the youth involvement. So this is a massive collaborative project. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't call yeah. it massive because, I mean, this is a huge painting, but just to give you an idea, we, the one, the painting that we did prior to this, we were up in Providence, and that was 90 feet high by 130 wow. long, so this, this, when you get back to this scale, you're like, all right, this is a, a very manageable situation. And this is going to last a long time? Yeah, well over 10 years, uh, okay. it's facing north out of the sun, so ideally, 15 years, you know, so. You can't do something to it to make it stay longer? Well, we I, put sealer on it, okay. and it has weather and UV protectant, but okay. yeah. paint is pigment based, and as soon as you put it in the sun, just like it's, driving a car, it starts, right. uh, starts deteriorating, you know, so. But, you know, 15 years. Yeah, but you know what? The colors will change over that time, and that actually might be a nice thing. Oh, yeah, that might be <laughs> true. We've, we've yeah. given it numerous layers, so usually that gives it a little bit longer of a, a lifespan. And, uh, so, yeah, we'll, you know, may, maybe it will turn to a more autumn leading hero at some point. Well, I just love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay. Thank you.